Well, we're digging deeper into the future of downtown. It comes as the Downtown Dayton Summit talks about the present and future of Dayton. And the big topics this year included, of course, the reopening of the arcade as well as new residential spaces and jobs. News reporter Deborah Bogart is live downtown with a look at the future. Multiple residents say they have noticed some revamping of the downtown area, some parts more than others, but one summit attendee says they should be seeing much more in the near future. Downtown Dayton Partnership Vice President of Economic Development Scott Murphy says a strong downtown Dayton is important to the entire Miami Valley. And today, multiple groups with the same mindset looked at the past, present, and future of the area, commending the advancements that have been seen in the northeastern section. What's happening in Water Street right now is because of the investments that were made back in, in the early 2000s around the Ball Diamond. I think they've made a big improvement over near the river and riverscape. And looking ahead to the revitalization of the arcade, Murphy says it will have a big impact on University of Dayton students getting interested in the area and retaining those graduates, and as a result, will be a big push for employers to set up shop. So that is envisioned as really an, in a center for arts and creativity and startup activity. Saying that included with the Levitt Pavilion that opens in August, they will be the backbone of the Southern Quadrant. And that is going to be anchoring really. An area of downtown that um, isn't feeling, hasn't felt the progress yet in terms of the downtown resurgence. And while some residents say they are excited about the future of downtown, they hope entertainment will be a major focus. More clubs and things like that, and even more entertainment for, for the family. Increasing the bike paths and things for people to be able to get out and do. Some other topics discussed today were the redevelopment of the fairgrounds and more hotels looking into the area. Reporting live in downtown Dayton, Devereaux Bogart, 2 News, working for you.